the Fluke VT104 Visual IR Thermometer. You might be saying to yourself, I already have a solution for determining thermal facts and figures, ranges, and heat temperatures. But I tell you, there is more. It comes with so much cool stuff, it really just about fits in this awesome little box. The Fluke VT104 does what the competition won't. It does what they're afraid to do. But how does it stack up against its competition? The FLIR TG165. Nose to nose. Now you might be experienced with getting these videos from industry professionals here on the T-Equipment site in the past. Well guess what? I'm just a discerning consumer comparing apples and apples here. Or apples and oranges. Or bananas and oranges. Or some type of fruit simile. We go over the body of the Fluke. It has an external SD card. But FLIR says... What's an externally exposed SD card slot got to do with it? Who needs an external SD card slot when an SD card slot can be enclosed? What's an SD card slot got to do with it? Got to do with it. TG165 gives you an 8 gig SD card, whereas the Fluke VT04 is a 4 gig. Ding, ding, ding. Fleer with the bigger SD card. Now me personally, I prefer holding the FLIR in my hands. The Fluke just doesn't have the same grip feel. To me, I like a good grip. I like a good sturdy grip. This is a little wide in my hand. Certainly designed for the human hand, just not designed as well for my hand in particular. This could be a preferential thing than the FLIR. The FLIR feels really nice. I mean, see myself using this thing in a tactical way. We've spent a lot of time just talking about these two devices and their aesthetics and everything like that. Let's actually get down to some data. I've got the FLIR plugged in and charging here and if we take off this cute little protective screen, bam. It's alive. Got a window over there. It's neat because with the FLIR, I can see my window. Even though the blinds are shut, there are window panes there. So it does give you a very fascinating detection ability and what's going on behind the scenes. The um, devices are all Android powered here. So if you are an Android user, I mean, that's just like a million spare phone chargers just sitting around waiting to be used. And with this camera, I mean, look how good the globe comes in and it's because of that great fluke design. Now, why is that even necessary with a thermal camera? Well, it really helps me determine what I'm looking at. Okay, the cups are below the globe. I can see the globe very clearly and then boom, there it is. There are the cups, one hot, one cool, as we can see. And again, here we see that picture-in-picture -picture technology. It's showing us a lot about the surroundings, the not really temperature indicative details, like the sticker here is visible because of that amazing Fluke technology. Is this something you get in the FLIR? Well, let's find that out. Boom, okay. Here's our FLIR picture, okay. You, obviously, you're not getting that sticker, but you are getting a heat reading that to me appears to be very, very clear and very accurate and showing you exactly what you need to see and make your judgments based on anything heat related from what we're seeing in this picture right here. Okay, and it's nice technology. Again, that grip on the FLIR is serious. Okay, my grip on there is very serious. Now, you'll look at the picture and is it as good? Well, heat wise, maybe yes, but as far as seeing that sticker on the box, no, you don't get that, that's for sure. Alright, now with the TG130, again, with these Flare products, we've got Rickard Lindvall here 
First thing we see when we open the box, super personal, very classy touch from a classy company, a classy gentleman, okay? And it says thank you for buying your thermal.